Bill Kristol is going to continue his streak of being wrong about everything. Here he goes on MSNBC to express uh, this delusional theory about Trump and the GOP. My new nickname for him is Delusional Bill Kristol. So Delusional Bill, take it away. And then I think people start to look up in November, December, January, Republicans and say, well, the election didn't work out too well. The second half of the first term looks as chaotic, maybe more chaotic than the first half of the first term, especially if some of the people who are viewed as kind of guardrails on Donald Trump start to leave. And I think at that point you do. And then if he just, if there are a couple of bumps, the Mueller report, the economy uh, doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't stay as strong as it has been. I think you get real questioning going forward about do we want to tire ourselves mm -hmm. to Donald Trump. It's one thing in the first two years to sort of defend Trump. What, what's the choice? He's not going anywhere. Uh, you're up for re-election. It's too complicated to try to distance yourself, they think, and so they don't. But going forward, it's do you want to renominate him? Do you want him to carry the banner of the party forward? And at that point, I think some of those who've been putting up with Trump start to say, well, wait a second, I'm not sure this is the way to go. In 30 seconds or less, do you think a part of Nikki Haley would be receptive to meeting with Bill Kristol and hearing you out? I think she'd be happy to have lunch, but maybe just coffee, not, not a full lunch, you know, in a, in a very secret place, in a very dark basement somewhere near <laughs> in, 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 in New York. I'll, I'll let you recommend the place to me, Brian, and we'll, I'll see her. I think people will look at, will have to raise the question, uh, do they want to renominate Donald Trump in 2020? We'll see, of course, what happens over the next year. But I personally try to like lay the groundwork for a primary challenge. I don't know whether Nikki Haley or someone else will, will pick up the mantle, but it's been done before. And I, as I say, I think I think this election Tuesday will be an important moment where people start looking forward after Tuesday and asking, do we want him? Do we want an additional four years of Donald Trump defining the Republican Party? Yes, they do. <laughs> I don't know why mainstream media gives this crank a platform. He's been wrong about fucking everything he's ever said, and they still give him a platform and treat it like this is a totally reasonable idea that's totally practical and might happen. Bill Crystal is out there saying, well, I mean, come on, let's be serious now. Uh, do we, does, do the Republicans really want to hitch themselves to the Trump brand for another four years? Is that what they really want? I mean, come on. Obviously, if we run a primary against them, the primary will, will win. What planet do you live on? Not only is, are, is the Republican Party the party of Trump, they're proudly the, the party of Trump. Dude. He's the one that's doing all these rallies around the country, packing the place out, fucking controlling the narrative. This idea that, like, are we sure that we want to go in this direction? Is that Are we sure about that? Yes, that ship has sailed. It sailed a long time ago. It sailed in 2016, and it ain't fucking coming back, son. And in fact, in many ways, what's hilarious is he actually agrees with the policy vision of Donald Trump, but he just doesn't like the mean tweets. And it's like... The mean tweets are fucking part and parcel of the brand that run-of-the-mill Republicans absolutely love because you know what? They hate the establishment. Even though Trump is serving the establishment, let's be clear, because he is doing that economically and otherwise, they love that he shits on the establishment all day long. And they make... Trump makes them feel empowered. So this idea of like, oh, well, obviously we should do a primary. And do we really want to be attached to his brand? Yes, they do! How do you not see that? God, he's, it's like no amount of evidence gets into his fucking thick head. He's been wrong about everything. Look at his predictions on the Iraq war. This guy's a war criminal, by the way. He should be in prison. Um, but the, the other point is, okay, so he's super delusional if he really thinks a Republican primary would knock off Trump. I mean, that is super delusional, but he might actually believe it. And it looks like he does. But then the other thing is this actually can be weaponized by the Democrats to, for their own ends here. If you can convince some establishment Republican to run as an independent in 2020, oh, that'll help the Democrat massively. Let's say they throw, and this isn't going to happen, but just we'll use his name because this was what they were considering last time around, Mitt Romney. Romney's going to be a senator from Utah, so he's not going to do this again, but um, let's say they threw out Mitt Romney there in 2020 and had him run as an independent and you had Donald Trump as a Republican and whoever as the Democrat, irrelevant for the, for the purposes of this conversation. Yes, Mitt Romney or an establishment Republican would pull 5% maybe, and they pull 5%. That's enough to take the election away from Trump.
and to give it to whoever the Democrat is. So if Bill Crystal is playing this fucking 4D chess where he's like, okay, let me say this to try to get an independent run against Trump, which will then turn it over to the Democrat. All right, cool. Because <laughs> that'll help the left, and I support that. But of course, let's be clear, Bill Crystal loves corporate Democrats who will be neoconservative and who will be hawkish. I do not like those kinds of Democrats. But if we can weaponize his idea to get Bernie Sanders elected, that'd be lovely. I'd love that. But again, I don't think he's necessarily talking about that path because he was talking about a primary against Trump. And in a primary against Trump, it'll just be hilarious because he'll curb stomp whatever Republican runs against him. And it'll be funny to watch. So yeah, I guess let's do it because I want to see the, the quintessential poster boy of wrongness yet again go right back into his role of being epically wrong.